Our first priority is the windows, because now that we've hauled out and we're here on the hard, we don't want to be on the hard for too long because boats aren't made to be out of the water, they're made to be in the water. And interesting fact, it's actually more expensive for us to be here on the hard than it is in the water. So the windows are going to take the longest of any of our projects. We have to remove them, ship them down to Cambrian Plastics in Auckland. They'll fabricate them, then ship them right back up to us and we'll install them. The last thing we want is to have everything else on the boat done and we're just sitting here waiting on the windows. That would not be good. So priority number one, windows. I'm Nikki, this is Jason, and this is Curiosity, the driving force behind our thirst for exploration and discovery, literally and philosophically. And well, we've been pushing our curiosity pretty hard over the past several years. So now we've got some serious TLC to do. Welcome back. <laughs> More shitty boat projects. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm in quite the mood this morning. My typical chipper can do attitude is melting away with yeah. the rain. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's all just starting to chip away at me, my morale. But, you know, another sunny day and a little break eventually, and I'll be right back at it. <laughs> There's a little bit of. Calker Sika, yeah, in the lens. Anyway, so I am still chipping away here at the navigation area, preparing it for the guys from 2020 Marine to come over because that's who's going to be fiberglassing this. We are not going to do our own fiberglass work. One, it is not our area of expertise. We cannot do every single project or we will be here for months. It's just... We're gonna have to tag team this, and uh, this is a great yard in which to do that because they're cool with us asking questions, watching what they do, kind of working side by side. So I am learning a lot about how they're doing this, what they're gonna mix. I'm very curious about running stringers and the process of how they're gonna fix our hole in the center cockpit. So lots of learning ahead of us, and then maybe it'll make me feel more prepared for the next job. And like, maybe I can tackle it. And then it'll be my typical underqualified, overly optimistic self. <laughs> so yeah, maybe some fiberglass work today. That's what we're doing. Well, it's what somebody else is doing. Collectively now. we. And I will be, yeah, the collective The royal we. we. The royal yeah, we. Yeah. I'll do what I'm really good at, supervising. <laughs> yeah. And prep work. I can prep spaces. Good at that. Saves a lot of money to do this part of the work. This is hours of junk. Hundreds of dollars, dollar dollar bills, y'all. And so it begins. Yeah, we got a short break in the weather. We're gonna try to remove this window. And the guys have this special tool. Oh, I'm excited to see it. It's supposed to like make this whole thing super easy. I'll believe it when I see I it. Know, it sounds right? too good yeah. to be true. I'm like, nah. We'll find out just how special yeah. this tool is. <laughs> This is Joe. This is a special tool. The special tool. <laughs> so what the heck is this thing? It's basically an air-driven reciprocal saw that we can then slot in behind the window and chop along all that bog and glue and everything else behind. Okay. Very simply put. <laughs> all right, and on a scale of one to 10, how hard do you think this is gonna be? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> I think it'll be easy. It'll be fine. That's what we always say. Yeah, it's a boat. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Nope. <laughs> Let's take a minute to appreciate how life-altering solar power is. For us, it means freedom and self-reliance and the ability to bake cookies even when we're hundreds of miles offshore, which is why we are very excited to team up with Omaze because they are giving you the chance to win a 4x4 Sprinter van with an $80,000 eco conversion by Vansmith with rooftop solar panels to power everything from the fridge to the interior lights, plus all natural building materials like wool insulation, a pine ceiling, bamboo countertops, and a carbon offset package to fund environmental repair programs. And it's all in support of the Honold Foundation, as in Alex Honold, the rock climbing, van dwelling madman, who has been so inspired by his time in nature and living off grid that he started a foundation to help make solar energy accessible for everyone. They work with and award grants to community organizations like SIBO. 
to provide solar energy for remote indigenous communities in some of the most biodiverse rainforests on the planet. So to potentially win the Sprinter van with an $80,000 eco conversion and support the Honold Foundation, head over to omaze.com slash GWTW. It's a very sharp, nasty little blade as well. Just keep your fingers clear. Yeah, keep your fingers clear. Basically, you just have a really fancy turkey blade. Like, that's like an electric turkey knife. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly. I wonder if you could do it with a uh, bread knife. It would save you $1,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for telling me that now, yeah, yeah. It's not raining. Nice! Oh my gosh, there's a hole on your back. <laughs> cool. Man, stuff they stuck in there. Jesus Christ. I wonder if they even cured. That's $200 for the Sika there. So we'll just leave you guys to clean that up and uh, we'll come back when you're all. <laughs> yeah, we'll come back in a month. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, once you get it back in, uh, give us your arm and take a photo. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, thanks, guys. No worries. Well done. Always a pleasure. Yeah. You did in what less than an hour what it would have taken us. That would have been an all day job. Yeah, probably. Banging away with wedges and yeah. cutting yourself more than I did, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Battery's dying, it sounds so weak. <laughs> Alright, so now the real work begins, right? Yeah. We're gonna clean the windows first so we can get those shipped off ASAP via courier and then on a nice day we will start just taking this caulk out it's a lot it's nuts yeah that would have been seriously an all day yeah like oh it yeah. would have been a nightmare we shall not be tackling that project today because we have rainstorms and clouds all around no blue sky and unfortunately we've got rain predicted for like the next three days <laughs> of course why I'm prepping this for the plastic. Okay. You make it look so easy. <laughs> That's it. All cleaned up. Sort of. Mostly cleaned up. Good, uh, good enough. But now we just stack them up. Courier comes to pick them up. We'll take them to Auckland. And that's that. It's all up to Cambria Plastics from there. I only have one task today. And it should be something that I should be able to get done in a day. You know, start to finish one complete task. That hasn't happened yet since we've started this whole thing. So, steam cleaning, it's a rental. I've got four hours, no rain on the horizon. So says the radar. If that stays true, this is happening. What's your goal for the day? No rain means time to remove all this caulk. And it's gonna be a project. Maybe I can get this done today. I got all day. A lot of chisel and knife and caulk. That's a lot of caulk to get rid of. And I'll lay down some protective something. Do you want some deck deck sealant? <laughs> Cleaning 
mattresses and cushions and everything else is kind of a let's say an annual task on boats anyway at least every other year because you know see salty air and musty mildewy conditions something i should do anyway but we really have to do this mattress and that's why i'm starting with this one first because i may need to do a double take on this one because this is the mattress that we used to put over the hole that happened in the middle of our cockpit while we were on passage to new zealand so it got drenched in salt water i have rinsed it and rinsed it with fresh water to try to get all of the salt out and now i am cleaning it as kind of a final swipe because this mattress is still in really good condition so we don't want to have to get rid of it just because it got a little salty so we're cleaning <laughs> of juice already and I've only done one side not even the full edges Ooh, I may need longer than four hours okay mm, I thought it would be a lot darker that's not too terrible that's nothing this is boat life it can be way dirtier <laughs> First, I'm removing this foam bit, which adds kind of a visual buffer from the inside so you don't see the Sika. This is just for looks. So I remove that, and then I come in with a big knife. Hmm. And if I'm lucky, it comes out like this. And basically, I'm just trying to put pressure on here and get up as much caulk as I can with this first pass. And then I come back with a painter's tool, I think that's what this is called, or a chisel, or a putty knife, <laughs> or a plastic scraper with a sharpened edge to get all of the caulk off. And this process will take me, for this window, I'll be lucky to get it done in about eight hours. It does save us about $1,000 by doing this, so I think it's worth it. A thousand bucks, a little arm workout, be out in the sun, living the dream, baby. Boat life. <laughs> Finally finished the aft cabin mattress, so now I've moved on to our mattress, and I think I should be able to get this one done before it's time to take the machine back the stove. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> this is a big piece of cock. <laughs> nice, thick and long. Stop. No, seriously, this is like, oh, Whoa. look at that. <laughs> Yeah. That's impressive, right? Oh, like it is. Yep. It's it a lot. It's this is difficult, people. This is difficult. <laughs> to get all this out at once in one big piece. That <laughs> is just... There's no innuendo. It's <laughs> I'm just This is impressive. That's what she said. And look, here's my other one. Yep. Nice. You're big. <laughs> I finished both of my mattresses. I was very careful. I didn't do too much on this one just because it's a memory foam mattress. So it's like really soaking up too much of the water. That one really needs a steam cleaner, like legit steam cleaner, not just carpet cleaner or upholstery cleaner, whatever. Whatever that machine is. Anyway, done with those. So now I'm gonna get help. I'm gonna get help. I'm gonna get started on the windows with Jason. Man, maybe I do need coffee. made a big mess. 
Huge. Sure. It's a huge mess. <laughs> huge. Uh, huge. Yeah, it's a big mess, but mostly all scraped away. Still got some sanding and cleaning to do, but then this side is mostly done. Maybe another hour or two, and yeah. So, clean up time. Clean up then cocktail. Yeah, I like the sound of that. <laughs> I don't know if all this is gonna last for three or four weeks. Hey, I'll help. Yeah. yeah. Oh. What are we having? This is a Misty Miyagi. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I need a little guru in my life. It's a hazy IPA. Okay. I'm not usually a hardcore IPA fan. It's a bit too bitter, but the hazies are good because it kind of takes the edge off. And they're really big here in New Zealand. It seems like yeah, it's that's all I see. Barely see any stouts or anything. It's like tons of this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's like hazy IPAs, hazy pale ales. I'm not complaining. I like it. Yeah. It's just interesting, you know, beer culture, each place you go. Cheers. Cheers. To progress. Mm. 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 And enjoying the um, the view, we talked about maybe we should walk down to the beach, the beach. but there's a nip <laughs> in the air. It's quite chilly. It's getting chilly, <laughs> and the sun is of course going down, mm. and it's a little windy, and we have a nice view. Surprisingly, For a boatyard. It's a pretty nice view, mm. and as yes, we're kind of standing out here watching the world go by, it also reminds us of family and some of the things that we're missing back at home my grandma called well my whole family called a <laughs> yeah. couple days ago it's my grandma's 90th birthday and yeah. they're all there and i saw my little nephew who has got these fat little cheeks he's <laughs> you know just this little baby burrito that's so happy and alive and to yeah. see them all there they're passing the phone around and it's like oh we got all teary everybody was kind <laughs> i'm getting all teary oh. i'm just thinking about it. anyway <laughs> yeah so we're uh, you know <sighs> missing family and it just also, you know, when you're watching babies grow, and unfortunately Virtually. people also get older, you know, you can't help but think, gee, is that, like, is a Zoom session going to be the last time we ever see grandma, yeah, you know? I hope not. But yeah, so. It's anyway. different for us here. We're in New Zealand. Everything is locked down. I know parts of the world are still locked down. Well, borders closed. Borders closed. Our yeah. friends and family can't understand in the States. They're like, well, what do you mean you can't leave there? What do you mean? What? <laughs> We're like, if we leave, we can't come back. Uh, it, we won't be able to get our... What do you mean you couldn't yeah. get your boat? Like, it's... Sometimes it's a it's a difficult thing to explain. Because any other time, that would never be the yeah. scenario. Yeah, if we leave here, we could most likely never come back. <laughs> Not never. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun. Anyway, <laughs> that's what's been going through my mind the past couple of days. We've been working away on caulk. And... Yeah. Oh, we... Uh, so we sent the windows off with the courier but unfortunately they oh. still have not arrived yet there's a bit it's of a, a delay a few days they said that the couriers are running a little bit behind behind or a little scattered because they're still in lockdown in auckland and everybody's ordering yeah. and needing things shipped around so we get it yeah. but it also makes us nervous like <laughs> how long will it sit there before it makes it over oh. but hopefully not too long so keep your fingers crossed Anyway, in this video on a super positive <laughs> note there. <laughs> Sorry. I think we need a little bit of a break from bow work. But we oh. got, got the windows done. That was really, really important. And yeah. we got the one side cleaned up, which means we can probably take, take a, a day off. Yeah. Go find an adventure. Go, yeah. Recharge a bit. Nature. That's what we're going to do. To nature. To nature. And to you guys, thanks for yeah. joining us. Yeah. And stick you around for so many <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, some of you like it and some of you have got to be like me like really guys like are we gonna go do something else come on no more boat projects please um, please we've had it we, if we have to hear about your cock one more time <laughs> <laughs> i'll show you my cock oh man in your big black oh my gosh oh i've held my tongue a lot just saying no. <laughs>